Todd Dunn here for Life on the Edge. Today is launch day for my sailboat, Sequester. So I am here at the boatyard getting ready to have the boat picked up in about 40 minutes and taken over to the dock where we will step the masts and then put her in the water. And I will then motor the boat over to the marina and tie it up. And we'll start getting ready for the season. Here's Sequester ready to go, fresh bottom paint, all cleaned up. I just have to get up on deck and take that blue tarp off, which is there, because the way the boat is blocked right now, uh, water will run inside the, through the companionway because the boat is bow down a little bit so that the water will drain out of the cockpit through the front cockpit drains. Here are the masts. They're all set. I've checked them over, made sure all the Cotter pins and clevis pins are in good shape on the rigging. Everything is ready to go. And I have put on my anti-bird uh, devices on the spreaders, which are those little wooden things you see on top of the spreaders. They have uh, black wire ties, nylon wire ties, sticking up to deter birds from landing on the spreaders because cormorants love to land on spreaders and you don't want cormorants on your boat. So let's walk over and get a little bit better view of the boat from a slightly different perspective which I can do now because there's no boat here. So Sequester is an Allied Princess 36 built starting in 1972 and most likely launched at the beginning of the 1973 season. So she's ready to go into water for another year. This will be my 22nd season with this boat. I've owned the boat for 21 years and have put in 21 seasons so far. The boatyard is quiet this morning. Not much going on outside because of the weather lately. See, it's a little foggy today. I was just over at the harbor though, and it's not as bad as you might think. I can see fine over there, at least quarter mile, mile, half mile visibility, which is enough in the harbor. So we pan back around, and here's Sequester waiting to go in. Holler's supposed to be here any minute. He's moving another boat right now. I'm not sure when he'll be finished. So, just continue to wait. Boat hauler is here. He's back in the trailer under. And get her lined up. You see the hydraulic trailer? And we'll just back her underneath. Front set of stands are out. Mid stands have been turned around to give him clearance to get past them. And the aft stands are still in. This procedure usually goes pretty quickly. What takes time is stepping the mast. There he goes. Pretty good. All right. Now we'll put some oak blocks underneath the keel and uh, get ready to uh, Lift her off. Here she goes, pulling out. That took about 10 minutes. He's going to take the boat over to the Manset Dock in Southwest Harbor where we're going to launch it. 
and he's going to come back with a boom truck to pick up the mast. And then we'll go step the mast and put her in the water. So, that's a very quick procedure. Took uh, 14 minutes from the time he arrived until he's driving away. If it was a power boat, she'd be in the water in another 15. But sailboat's going to be another hour and a half, maybe. Okay, I got to move some stuff before he comes back. Okay, masts are up, and we're backing down toward the ramp. As soon as we get her in, we'll start the engine and then back her off. Heading toward the water. Now they're going to disconnect the trailer and run it down a little bit on a cable. And it is 11.13. He showed up at 9.46, so just under an hour and a half from the time he showed up to move the boat. And a little fog out there, not too bad. It's lifting out in here anyway. It's nice and calm. Still have a lot of rigging to do. I have to put the booms on and the sails, tighten up all the shrouds, and generally get the boat ready to go. Probably a whole, at least a day of work to get her ready. But we should start moving back again in a second. see her move relative to the dock here and we'll see how she goes here we go starting to move down again Stern should be in the water and she'll start floating off. Then I'll have to fire up the diesel. Okay, we're starting to get some buoyancy aft. I'm going to be firing it up and backing it off in a second. I'm underway. Fortunately, this boat turns to port when you back off, which is perfect for this dock. So we'll back her out a little. 
and head over to my mooring to rig up for the marina. And we are launched at 11.17. Okay, underway for the first time in 2017. Head out past this passel of Hinkley jet boats. My mooring is a couple hundred yards past them. And we'll get the boat on the mooring. Actually, I think I'm going to run up to the marina first and find out if my slip is open because it affects how I have to rig up. If the slip is not open, there was a boat in it this morning. If it's still there, then I have to uh, put the fenders on the appropriate side of the boat for wherever I'm going. When I get to the mooring, I'll be putting the mooring lines on and uh, deciding what I'm going to do. Okay. Nice view of a close view of a Hinkley jet boat. That looks like an, a Hinkley 40. That looks like an original Hinkley 36. A lot of money in these boats right here. Anyway, I'm going to be busy picking up the mooring. It's coming up. It's straight ahead in the field of view there. So I'll be grabbing that in a little bit after we run up to the marina. So I'm going to stop for a second until I get up there a little bit. This is my mooring right here. It's got both boat names on it, so I can put both on. And on up to the marina and see how things look there in terms of the boat on my, my, uh, in my slip. Well, can't, there's a boat up there that might be in my slip, but I can't tell from here. My slip's all the way inside. There's the new breakwater they put in last year. It's going to make things a lot better for us in storms. Break up the big waves coming in from the east, which is the worst direction. Hand back out. We're looking north. We're looking east. That's Sutton Island. It's half in the fog. And looking south. And west again toward the marina. So I'm going to shut down again for a second until I'm in there and know what I'm going to be doing. i headed into the marina now. I've got rock lines and fenders rigged for a starboard side tie up because there is a boat in my slip which is normally a port side tie. But the other side of the finger pier is open and with this north wind, since the finger pier is an east-west oriented pier, I'm just going to come in and uh, let the wind blow me down onto the finger pier right next to the boat that's in my slip. And it should be an easy tie up. So I'll film until I get close. Uh, sorry about the engine noise. I have the engine compartment completely open so I can keep an eye on the engine during this first run of the season just to make sure nothing's wrong. And so far, everything seems to be okay. You can see the white power boat in there. The, that's uh, on the outside of the finger pier. And that red sailboat, just to the right of the white power boat, is in my slip. So I'm going to come in on the other side of the finger pier from that red sailboat. We'll see how she looks. Shouldn't be much of an issue. <laughs> yeah, there's my friend Shane who 
works for Hinkley. He's uh, walking out. He's there. Uh, sea trial cap. Okay, I'm going to be coming in right next to the Alice E, which is a uh, uh, 1898 friendship sloop, the black boat over there. Well, i got to start driving the boat, so I'm going to be uh, shut down on filming for a second. Well, here she is at the dock. Still lots of work to do before I can take her out sailing, but that'll happen in the next couple of days. And we're right next to a Morris M42, about an $800,000 boat. And Carl Bruner's Friendship Sloop, Alice E. Okay, time to go home for lunch.